Hello, my name is Kathy Cooley. I've been a realtor for 25 years in the town of Bethlehem. I've worked in the same cool old Victorian building in this wonderful little town of Bethlehem for 25 years. As a top producer in my office, the company, and the capital region here, I'm always busy, but never too busy for my clients, especially for my first time home buyers. They are my favorites. And this leads me to Jackie and Liam. Liam found me on the internet, and boy, am I happy he did. After we conversed back and forth for a long, long time, I finally met Liam and his wife, Jackie. I was immediately impressed with Jackie's cool New York City style and Liam's incredible Irish accent. They were moving back to Bethlehem to be near Jackie's family. I also found out after we met that Jackie graduated from high school just a few years before my daughter and her brother, Jerry, graduated with my son. The connection was made. What were the chances? In the meantime, the house hunting began. The brutal winter didn't stop Jackie and Liam from braving the weather and driving up from New York City to Albany, New York, three hours plus away every single time to look for houses. They only wanted to be in the town of Bethlehem, which did create our first challenge, actually, since the town is quite small. And of course, we had a budget to adhere to. And on top of it, the inventory was low for that price point. We began the process and we did have a lot of fun. But I will tell you, it was interesting to see the opinions on these houses right out of the gate. It was very different what Jackie was looking for versus what Liam was thinking they were going to get. Jackie wanted to make sure that we had good square footage, a nice number of bedrooms and baths, and a great yard for the kids to play in. Whereas Liam was very satisfied with even the smallest of homes, since whatever we saw was definitely 10 times larger than where they were currently living. To him, a small three-bedroom home was more than adequate, and a yard where he could cut the grass with a scissor was perfect. A patch of grass was fine with him, as long as the kids still did have a small place to play. But Jackie wanted a little larger place for the family to grow. Soon Jackie and I were shopping for homes on our own, however. Our next challenge, Liam's job kept him in New York City during the week and only came up to Bethlehem on the weekends. It made it even more stressful, since the best homes would be scooped up in a minute during the week, so Jackie and Liam wouldn't even have an opportunity to put an offer in. Finally, Jackie and I took the bull by the horn. We went house hunting without Liam. We pounded the pavement while sending pictures to Liam of the ones we were interested in. Then it happened. We found that adorable Bethlehem home. Jackie took the plunge and we put an offer in on the house before Liam could even see it. And not only that, the next obstacle, it was not only a short sale, and if that wasn't enough, it was also a multiple offer situation. My God, thank goodness for technology because we had tight, tight, contract dates to adhere to. It was such a rocky road, emotions were running high, but the best news of all, we got the house. And we're just weeks away right now, we are about to close. The best part is that Liam has still not seen the house. I just love Jackie and Liam. This was truly one of my favorite deals and definitely a great house hunter story. Thank you very much.